Hello friend, welcome in Ogil, our knowledge and skill sharing platform. In today's video of uh, Python Absolute Beginner video lecture series, we will discuss about data types in Python. So these are our contents that we will discuss. That is what is data type, numeric type, collection type, boolean type and binary type. So let's start. So first of all, we will discuss about what is data type. So data type in Python defines the type of the data class because in uh, Python, everything is uh, based on object oriented approach. So in object oriented uh, programming, we use, uh, use uh, class and objects. So we can uh, categorize the data type in Python in following type. First one is numeric type. Uh, second one is collection type and third one is boolean type and fourth one is binary type so in numeric type we have integer float and complex and for collection type we have string list tuple set and dictionary and for boolean we will discuss and in binary type uh, that, that takes byte and byte array so first of all we will discuss about numeric type so in numeric type we have uh, integer float and complex so one by one we will discuss so uh, integer as you know uh, here 30 is type of integer so in python we have no rule for declare and define variable as we assign the value according to the value the variable take its data type so here the value is 30 so a value is 30 so the data type of age is integer so uh, we have a special function that is type function with which return data type so uh, here percentage equal to 74.4 this is fractional value according to that it will uh, assign the data type is float similarly x equal to 3 plus 4j this is complex so here this is 3 is real part this is 4 is imaginary part when we uh, simply print type of age it will return the class is integer so its data type according to its value is integer and its value is 30 similarly the uh, print type of percentage type uh, its class is float and its value is 74.4 similarly this um, x equals to x uh, print a type of x is that is class is complex and its value is 3 plus 4g so this is uh, about numeric type and second category that is single line string and multi line string so what is single line string uh, anything written between single open and close uh, single quote or double opening quote and uh, closing double quote so it treat as a single line string here we have name uh, ajay or we can write like name goes to ajay in single quote also so on uh, when i will simply print type of name you can see that its data type is string and its value is ajay similarly name one uh, a, a, sing, a triple single quote open or and closing triple quotes or double quote we can also three opening double quotes and three closing double Quotes. So whatever I will write here is treat as a treat as a multi line string. So here we have to um, uh, declare and define the name one as hello to Suprabhat welcome. When I will uh, print a type of name one, it will also return type is string and this is multi line string. You can see the output. So this is about a string data type. Next one is collection type collection type in collection type first we will discuss about list so what is list list is ordered collection of items list is mutable that is we can modify list items example in this example you can see here we have a list name that is student and in this student uh, first of all we will uh, discuss that uh, list is defined in a square bracket list is defined in a square bracket here we have list of names first name is ajay it's low uh, it's because it is ordered collection its index number is zero and uh, second uh, is ram in first location uh, first index number and rohan in second and similarly amit is third so this is the 
list of names similarly list of marks in the square bracket we have 90 and 0 16 first 17 2 and 18 third and 66 and 4 so uh, this is the practical demonstration to create list marks 90 80 80 uh, 88 77 67 77 when i will print the type of marks it will uh, return the it will print that type data type is list and this uh, print will uh, print simply print the list as you can see so this is about uh, list so next is how to add item in list so how to add item in list we have following uh, methods that we can use to insert new item in the list first way we will use to insert using index we can insert a new uh, item in the list by using index suppose i want to uh, insert new item at uh, location uh, index number uh, one this is index number zero this is index number one so i want to insert in this uh, index number so marks of one i have uh, stored now value is 55 when i will print insert at particular index that marks when i will print the marks you can see before uh, you can see the type is list the uh, actual list is marks 90 80 88 this one and insert at location one you now you can see the uh, in uh, insert uh, see this is zero and this is one in first location now 55 is insert so using index we can insert new item so next one is using insert method this is insert method insert method uh, is use insert method in insert in this insert method we have two parameters first one is index and second one is value so I want to insert at second location uh, index number the value is 90 so when I will print this uh, statement uh, marks you can see this is 0 and this is uh, this is 0 location this is first and now uh, this is 2 before that in second uh, second index number the value is 88 now the in second index number the value is 90 so uh, this is the use of insert method again the next method is append method append method is used to add new item at the end of the list basically it uh, append the uh, new thing at the end of the list so uh, here uh, i i am adding the 99 in the list so after uh, print this statement now you can see at the last that is 99 now in the list so this is the add item in a list that second one is delete item from list how can we delete item from list so we have the following method first one is first method is remove in remove method we have to pass one parameter that is value that we want to remove so here i want to remove 88 so marks dot remove 88 when i will execute this there you can see before uh, um, deleting the element the list is 90 and uh, i want to uh, uh, remove this 88 when i will uh, uh, apply the remove method after that uh, now you can see 88 is not here so it is deleted from the list similarly we can use pop method also the pop method will uh, pop method will take the index it will it take index as a parameter so i want to uh, delete uh, the item from uh, index number one so after executing this statement print delete uh, 80 from list using uh, marks you can see now uh, the second in, in second index number we have zero first this is one this is second so after executing this we have now 80 removed from the list so you can see the now the four item the list similarly we can use del keyword delete keyword uh, which is which also delete a particular item uh, that is uh, index index that I, I want to delete so I uh, so simply I have used del then marks and its index number I have given two so in, at index number two if you see uh, this is a zero index uh, this is first 
and this is this one is uh, this one is uh, second so after deleting using del keyword now you can see that uh, 67 removed from the list so these are the methods from by which we can delete uh, item from the list we can see the practical demonstration so i am going to give you practical demonstration in PyCharm. so first of all we will understand uh, everything so int uh, so first of all uh, declare numeric type so we have age suppose we have age 20 so when I will print type of age and print the value of age when I will execute this you can see the type is integer and the value is 20 similarly if I will take the value 24.6 and when I will save this and execute this now you can see the class is float data type now and similarly I will take 3 plus 4j and after that when I will save then now you can see that class is complex and its value 3 plus 4g so this is the declaring numeric type and second one that we have discussed string type so here I have defined suppose I have defined name equals to Ajay and we have taken name and type and its value so when I will print this you can see the type is a string and its value is Ajay we can use single uh, quote also so declare or define a string so when I will execute this it will also give that type is string and its value is Ajay so in multi-line string we have in multi line string we will define we can define everything in opening uh, triple quote and closing triple quote so here we have declared suppose welcome in python so when i will execute this you can see the type is a string and its value is multi line string format we can use triple uh, uh, double triple quotes also for opening and closing also that will also work as a multi line string so when i will execute this also you can see the type is string and its value is welcome in python you can now you understand string type the next one is that is collection type in collection type list type collection so how we declare the list suppose we have list of names so I have given the name Ajay Ram Amit and Rohan so when I will save this and execute this you can see the type is class list and its value is this so this is the way how to create list now we will check how we will add new items so we have discussed we can use index name index way also name suppose I have index use name of 2 I have given Raman so when I will print again name 
save this and when I will execute this you now you can see Raman is added in location 2 so this is the way of uh, index way this is index index by which we can add new item similarly we can use append method suppose I have applied name dot append you can see append and I have given suppose I have given the value is Rohan Rohan I have already given Ravi suppose I have given Ravi so when I will print name Control S then when I will execute now you can see uh, Ravi is append at the last of the list so this is the method um, this is the way use append method next one that is using insert method we can also if I will use insert method here name dot insert and at index 2 I want to uh, add such in so I just save this and when I will execute this now you can see in index 2 now such in is stored so this is the way uh, we can add new item similarly delete how can we delete items so we will do practical demonstration also so first method is remove method so I have you just use name dot remove as you can see remove method is available and here I have given the value that I want to remove suppose I want to remove RAM then print again name so control s then and I will execute this then you can see RAM is now deleted so we can use remove method or we can use pop method also similarly pop method suppose I have given 0 1 2 second uh, second index number I want to remove second index number so when control s so when I will execute this now you can see in second uh, index 0 1 2 second index is Amit so now Amit is deleted so this is by the remove method we can use also del keyword also so del and name I have I want to delete at index number suppose 1 so name index number is 1 I want to delete then control s now you can see 0 1 1 location is RAM now RAM is deleted from the list so this is the way we can add or delete so this is the about practical demonstration and now next one is that is tuple so what is tuple tuple is immutable immutable that it can't be changed immutable ordered collection of items tuple is immutable not mutable in tuple we can't change or modify items and for uh, declaring or define tuple we use parenthesis and list we have used square bracket so keep in your mind so here marks 50 70 80 90 so this is the practical demonstration marks we have declared then when we'll check the type of marks then marks it will simply print the tuple marks if I will use uh, if I I will try to assign or ch change in tuple suppose I want I want to change marks of 1 a 55 so this line will generate error why because uh, here you can see this is error is generating why because we already discussed that this is immutable when whenever in line 6 it is generating an error in line 6 so line 6 we are trying to add 
we are trying to change the value so this is not allow in tuple so we can we will see uh, its practical demonstration uh, so suppose uh, we have defined tuple of name same thing and tuple type we are discussing so we have defined this is the way we have defined declare and when i will try this name of one i want to give value such in so what will happen we will see control s and then execute you can see its type is tuple its data type is tuple and its values are j ram amit and in line 5 i am trying to change the value at index number so it is not allowed so this is the practical demonstration so now you understand what is tuple the next one is dictionary so what is dictionary dictionary is unordered this is most important it is unordered second one is key value pair key value pair collection of items it is mutable it is mutable that is we can change or modify items it store data values in key colon value pairs we will understand by this here we have create a dictionary student for dictionary we use curly braces okay this curly braces we use so different uh, keep in mind square bracket for list parenthesis for tuple now square curly braces for dictionary so this is the uh, key colon value pair the key is ajay which is either integer numeric type or string type ajay and its value is 99 so ajay marks is 99 then second key is ram its marks 77 rohit 99 aman 65 so when i will print type of student it will uh, give that data type that is dictionary type and when i will print student it will simply print the student in key value key colon value pair of item so first item is ajay it ajay and uh, first item key is ajay and its value is 99 second item key is ram and uh, value is 77 so uh, like this so this is dictionary so uh, how we add item in dictionary so first question how uh, we can add item in dictionary we will discuss so this is the way we, we can declare uh, or define the dictionary key colon value pair so here we have uh, defined uh, and declare the uh, dictionary uh, a student so when i will print the type of student it will uh, give the type and this is the original dictionary so uh, change item in dictionary using key first first way is using key suppose i want to change the uh, marks of this key ram so student this is the key and i have given the value is now 90 so after applying this statement now the when i will print a student it will change the original ram marks is original dictionary the marks of ram is 77 then after executing this index key sorry it is not an index this is key this because a dictionary is unordered is this is not ordered not ordered this is unordered so here now you can see the value of ram uh, key uh, that is ram for the marks is now 99 90 so so this is the way and the second method is that is using update method we can use update method so in update method we have uh, to pass the item that we want to update suppose uh, we have given here student dot update suprabhat colon thousand as we can see uh, suprabhat key is not available in this student dictionary so what it will up, uh, update method will do it will add new item of type uh, which has key suprabhat and and value is 100 if suppose I will use update method like this uh, uh, student dot 
update and here I will give Rohit colon 66 in curly braces so in this case since a Rohit key is available it will change its value is 66 if the uh, key is not present it will update it will add new item so you, here you can see after applying this statement the new item which has keys uh, suprabhat and marks is 100 is added so this is added method and uh, delete method we can use to delete item from the dictionary so this is the dictionary this is this is our original dictionary and uh, first method is that is pop method so in pop method first method is that is pop in pop method we just have given the key as a parameter so here the key is ram so uh, after applying this statement uh, when i will print the student you can see uh, ram 70 this is original dictionary here the item which contain ram as a key and value 77 and after that ram is deleted we can also use uh, that uh, second method that is that the second way that is uh, using del keyword delete keyword so in del we have given a student and the key this is rohit the key is rohit and after applying this statement when i will print you can see now uh, in uh, before that rohit is item is available rohit key and its value is 99 is available and after applying this statement that del student rohit it will delete the from that dictionary so uh, now the dictionary is this so this is about how to delete item from the list uh, from the dictionary sorry so we will do practical demonstration of this also so here I will just use in case of this I will just use this is dictionary so we will use here curly braces and we will use item as a key and value pair suppose I have first value is 99 then in RAM we have uh, marks 80 and for Amit key we have marks 66 and in for Rohit we have marks 99 suppose we have given already that is 80 so 80 already 88 we have given so when I will print its type control s then when I will execute this now you can see the type is data type is dictionary the key value pair of items um, is available in dictionary so this is the way by which we can declare and define the dictionary now we will try to add new item in the dictionary so uh, first that is using key as a index so because it is unordered so I will use name and in suppose I want to change uh, RAM marks I want to change RAM marks as uh, okay, I want to give 60 only here so when I will control S when I will print this now you can see uh, the now uh, before that uh, I have changed the RAM marks now the RAM marks uh, before that RAM marks is you can also print like print name before that then after that we will understand so before that RAM marks is 80 now after using key we have changed the marks similarly we can use that is pop and we will just give the key and we will give uh, suppose I want to sorry here we are using add method so name uh, next that is update method next one is update method the update method how it works so we will give the key suppose uh, the key is not available here we will see both scenario and marks is 100 
so marks is 100 so control s then we will see now we can see that after uh, executing this statement update method since uh, suprabhat key is not available in the dictionary so uh, it will add new item uh, which has key suprabhat and marks value is 100 if suppose uh, key is already available suppose i want to change rohan so uh, rohan then again control s now you can see before that uh, rohan marks is 88 now the uh, since key is available uh, so the change it will change the marks of rohan is 100 so this is the use of uh, update method now we will understand how to delete item from the dictionary so this is our original dictionary we will first uh, discuss about that is pop method so we will apply name dot pop here I will give the key suppose I want to delete Rohan so control s when I will save then I execute this you can see before that Rohan is available now after applying this pop method uh, the key Rohan item is now deleted similarly i can use the del keyword tell and here the name and here i will give the key suppose i will give want to delete ajay control s uh, then you can see now before that ajay is available and after executing this ajay is now deleted from the dictionary so now we have understand practically how to add or delete so next we will discuss about set so what is set set is uh, unordered set is unordered the second third thing is unique we will understand what is the meaning of unique collection of items that is unlike list and tuple it can't have duplicate items we cannot take duplicate items in uh, set it is mutable it is mutable and we can't change the items once set is created we can't change the item once set is created but we can add new items in a set so here we can see the uh, set is also declared uh, by curly braces so here we have uh, declared the marks 70 90 60 these are the when i will simply print type of marks and print the value you can see the type is now is set and its value is these when i want to change the value by some inducing index because it is unordered we can't change but i will, I will if i want to try because we already know we can't change the items once set is created so it will generate error why because set object does not support item assignment so once uh, set is created we can't change the values but we can add so how we can add we will see next so add new item in set we uh, we use add method this is the add method and in this add method we uh, give the value of the item as a parameter suppose we have the marks this and we want to add 100 we want to mark add at 100 so when i will execute this then you can see 100 because uh, now you can see output is uh, unpredictable manner because uh, we already discussed this set is unordered so uh, the order is uh, when you will print the set elements it will change it randomly take the order and according to that it will print the uh, set items set items values so uh, it is unordered okay now you add, uh, understand how key we can add, you add new items we can use add methods this is the way of added method and next one is delete item from set how can we delete the item so we have a special function that is remove method and this remove method take uh, the item value 
as a parameter so here I want to uh, remove 60 so when I will apply this you can see the item is now student is uh, 90 99 60 70 suppose we have the set like uh, student we have the set of student uh, sorry in curly braces we have 90 comma 99 comma 60 and 70 so when I will execute apply this pop method marks dot pop sorry marks dot remove 60 so when I will execute this it will delete now 60 now 60 is removed from this set so you can see similarly we can use pop method the pop method delete the last item from the set pop method delete the last item from the set as you can see here 90 99 70 when I apply uh, you can see the any random because we already know that set is unordered so which item is in last we can't define as to see like that it is randomly it is it take randomly so here we can see now 90 is deleted it means 90 is the add at the end of the set that time so according to the order it will delete so pop method simply delete the item uh, which is at the end of the uh, set so we will do understand this by practical demonstration so I am going to show you so we will use set type so for set we use this square bracket and one main thing suppose I will give duplicate values 80 90 70 60 then again 70 then 99 so when I will just print this you, you will see that duplicate values not allowed it it is unique collection of item unordered collection of item okay if I if I use a square bracket it will dupli uh, uh, it can take duplicate values because now it is list so list or tuple can tap all similar tuple can also but when I declare it as a set it will not take duplicate value because that is a unique collection of item so now you understand this is the way so set is also mutable we can change the values as we have discussed how to add or delete so how we add new item in the set so name dot add we have add method and we will uh, suppose I will give uh, 55 suppose then control s then when I will execute this now you can just see 55 is now added okay uh, so this is the way we can use add method and how to delete name dot pop what pop method will do uh, it will delete last item from the set as we have discussed delete the last item from the set so when I will execute this so which item is in the last of the list we can't uh, so in the set we can't
can't say because it is unordered so according to its order randomly which it, ha it has taken it will delete the last item from the set so this is the use of pop method similarly I can apply the uh, remove method uh, suppose I want to remove 99 so control s then when when I will exclude this now you can see I can do one thing before that also I will print that is so original values and after that deleted value print name control s now you can see the before uh, applying the remove method remove method take uh, item value as a parameter so before applying remove the original set value is this and after uh, applying remove method now 99 is now deleted so this is the use of remove method so now you understand delete item from set and add item uh, change item in the set we can as we have discussed uh, how can we add a new item using add method so next we are uh, going to discuss that is boolean data type the boolean data types take uh, value as which is either true or false which it works on boolean values so how we declare x suppose we have the given x equals to true and when when print the type it will uh, give the type that is bool that is boolean type and its value is x is now true similarly x equal to false then print x it will print the value false so we will do the practical demonstration of this also similarly we use boolean that is now that is boolean type so we have declared the variable suppose x equals to true so when i will print the type of x it will so the type is bool and the value print then x the value is true similarly if I will give that value is false it will so the type is bool and value is false so this is about boolean type the next data type that we will we'll discuss about binary data type it is it uh, often don't use oftenly in python uh, we use it in a special case to use to store uh, it is a binary data type is used to store large storage values like images if i want to if I want to use uh, store the images audio video high graphics files uh, we use binary data type um, here in binary data type we have two types that is first one is bytes bytes what is bytes it is immutable ordered collection of bytes it is immutable ordered collection of bytes it can store byte value only in range 0 to 255 so how we declare so binary data type using bytes so I have given this is uh, this you can see square bracket this is list and uh, the method that is bytes method which will convert collection type into bytes type so when I will print the type of this score it is showing that type is bytes okay and to print the value of to the print the value of these bytes we have used now use for loop we have used for loop for i in score so every value of score because score contains these bytes so each time it take the value from the bytes and store in i and it will uh, print first value that is 80 then next time 90 similarly 60 then 120 then 200 so using for loop we can print the values using for loop since I already told you that uh, it store only in the range 0 to 255 here I 
have declared the pipe data types to store 288 which is out of the range range is 0 to 255 so here you can see that in line 6 it is generating error so we can't assign we can take value which is more than 0 to 255 so this is the byte data type and second one that is byte array byte array is similar to as, as a byte but it is mutable it is mutable and last uh, we have uh, that is byte is immutable byte is what is byte byte is immutable and byte array is a mutable ordered collection of bytes it can store byte value only it also store the value is 0 to 255 so here byte array here this is the byte array also it also take collection as a parameter so here we have 80 90 these are the when I will print that type if you can see that type is byte array the type is byte array and using for loop here also we have used uh, using for loop print the byte array values using for loop for i in score so you can see the value is first is 80 then 90 then 60 similarly and if I will try to put uh, a 280 it it crossed now the range so it will generate error at line 6 again so this is byte array so byte uh, bytes is immutable bytes is immutable as we have discussed that byte is immutable so if I will try this is bytes if I will try to change at second location this is uh, this is also ordered so this is zero index this is first index this is second then third this is fourth so if I want to change this index number two a value is 55 this time will not work because byte is immutable when I will print the type score and when I, I, I will try to print the values so here you can see in line 3 line 3 it is generating error why because byte is immutable we can't change or assign new values in bytes similarly byte array is mutable byte array is a mutable this is byte array this is byte array function we have declared if I and here in index 2 this is index 0 this is index 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so in index 2 I want to change the value 55 when I will print this now you can see the value is now the index 2 is now value is 55 the value is index 0 this is 1 and this is second in index 2 now value is 55 so it's so that byte array is a mutable byte array is a mutable so we will do the practical demonstration of this also so binary data type so we will first uh, take bytes and here we have given 80 comma 90 comma 70 comma 60 and when I will control s when I will execute this now you can see the bytes we can't print byte value like this we for this we will use for loop for i in x print print i and I want to print in same line so I will give the second argument so when control s when I will save this and execute this now you can see the value is 99 so uh, this is the way so if I will try to give value like 290 here so it will store or not we will save control s then
when I will execute this now you can see in line 2 in line 2 it generate error because now 292 is going out of the range range is 0 to 255 similarly we can declare this is bytes type bytes data type similarly we can use byte array so how to declare byte array we use byte array function byte array in byte array similarly same way so I will give the values like 70 comma 90 comma 60 comma 55 comma 100 control s so now you can see the type is byte array and its value is this using for loop we have print suppose I will here also I will put the value is 290 which is which is definitely going to out of the range it will generate error in line 2 you can see the error in line 2 because in line 2 we are going to give the value 290 which is out of the range so now you understand uh, byte and uh, byte array now we will understand uh, byte is immutable so we have we know that bytes bytes is immutable we will do practical demonstra demonstration we will try to change value x and uh, next two I want to give suppose I want to give value is 66 so control s when I will execute this now you can see value error bytes must uh, be uh, in range so uh, sorry here this not I will give the similar value that is suppose I have given 100 control s now you can see here byte does not support item assignment why because byte is in uh, you can see in line 4 this uh, generate error in line 4 line 4 error is generated why because we are going to assign or change the value in bytes so a byte is immutable so it will not allow us we can uh, change the value if it is a byte array byte array same thing byte array is array is mutable is mutable so when I will control s when I will execute this now you can see now in uh, this you here you can see in uh, second index now in second index now uh, before that uh, in second index if I will print simple like that this I will print before changing control s when I execute you will understand so that before Control S. Now you can see that before inserting a change the value, the value is uh, at second index is 60. Now after applying this statement, now value is changes. Now it is 60. Why? Because byte array is mutable type. It can change the values. Now you understand the difference between these two binary data type that is byte and byte array so this is about uh, byte array so this is about data types
now you understand completely what is data type we have discussed so this is our training uh, part that is ogil.com and isoftra you can check more videos on this platform so we will meet in next video thank you